Welcome to the Body Metrics training videos. This video will show you how to measure your scapula with the Body Metrics ultrasound device. Please note that the scapula is very difficult to measure on your own. We suggest you have someone help you with the measurement. When measuring the scapula for a female, the measurement site is just below the bottom tip of the shoulder blade. Your measurement site is located here. For accurate results, the measurement should be done within an inch of this point. The measurement technique will now be demonstrated. Before taking your measurement, place a small amount of ultrasound gel on the front face of the device. Next, have the person measuring you take the body metrics ultrasound device and place the face on the scapula's measurement site and spread the gel within the optimal area. Make sure that the face of the body metrics does not overlap with the scapula when measuring. After the gel has been applied, they can begin to take the measurement. Move the device to the measurement site. Hold down the button while moving the device up approximately one quarter of an inch to one half of an inch and then down through the measurement site and about a quarter to half an inch below. Move the device up and down at a comfortable speed for three to four seconds. Make sure your measurer maintains contact with the skin the entire time, keeping it perpendicular to the surface. The software will ask for at least one more measurement. When it does, repeat the process you have just done. You have completed your scapula measurement. Now we will show you how to read the graph that has recorded your results. This graph will display your scapula measurement. Let's take a look at the graph for this scapula scan. This individual has about 7.5 millimeters of fat on their scapula. This can be seen on the graph where the yellow and pink sections meet. The location on the x-axis of this boundary is the fat measurement, and for this individual, that is about 7.5 millimeters. This also marks the beginning of the muscle in the scapula. The pink section is the muscle, and the yellow section is the fat. For the scapula, the center of the first peak is what is generally the fat muscle interface. When viewing the graph of a larger individual, you may see weak secondary peaks in front of the main fat muscle interface, which can be due to fascia or other structure in the fat. This completes your scapula measurement and our video. Thank you for watching this short demonstration. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos and updates. For more information, check out our website, bodymetrics.com.